The toughest person I've ever come across physically and mentally. He was intimidating to, you know, to, uh, you know, the other players around him. He definitely had the exterior rough side that people saw. We're very close as a family. I like to think we're very close as a family. In fact, most people probably don't even know we have a sister. She doesn't love getting in front of the camera the way Freddie does. A couple of my brothers are pretty good at impersonating him. Don't get smart with me, Freddie. Brady in particular, he's the one that uh, is really the thespian. He called me a thespian, and I'm surprised he even knows what that is. And most of it I can't do on camera unless you have a really good editing department to bleep out a lot of it. You chicken Get over here! Get over here right now! I'm gonna rip your face off! Well, when I was younger, when he was playing, uh, he'd take me to practice on occasion, and you know, Roger Staubach and Bob Lilly and Leroy Jordan, all the old great cowboy players, uh, you know, just being able to have those opportunities was pretty special to me. The life of a football coach, you've got heavy demands on your time. Coaching can consume you if, if you let it. We worked together in 94. It was great. I mean, I enjoyed it, and it was I wouldn't trade it for anything. A very positive experience for me. One of the funniest stories is when uh, Kyle and my dad were throwing the football around. My dad threw the football to Kyle. He missed it. It landed in some dog doo-doo. <laughs> and uh, Kyle picked it up and threw it right back to him. He, he caught it and was, like, looking at his hands. And at that point, Kyle just took off. When I think about what I miss the most, it's it's the just hanging out. Every once in a while, I'd say, oh, "I, I gotta leave you alone. I gotta go home. I just don't know what I'd do. You know, there's probably not any food there. You want to get some lunch?" I greatly miss him. The direction he gave us in our lives. Oh, I miss everything about him. I wish he was here because if he was here, he'd probably be on our staff here help, helping me out. You know, he wasn't the guy that told us himself how much he loved us, but we knew. What I would say is I miss you, I love you. And, you know, he was, he was a religious man, so we will see him again. My dad loved us unconditionally, and that's what I want to pass on, you know, to my kids, to, to know that, that they're loved no matter what, whether they play football or don't play football or you know, get into some trouble or, you know, whatever, that they always know that, that their parents are there for them.